discussing about the auxiliary blower. What is an auxiliary blower? As the name suggests, it is a blower in addition to one blower which is already installed. That is the one which is already giving the air to the engine. That is nothing but the turbocharger. So, if the turbocharger is already giving the air, then why we need this auxiliary blower? As you must have already seen that this auxiliary blower is used only in, sorry, this auxiliary blower is only used in the main engine and not in the generator. In any generators, you will not find any auxiliary blower, but it is used in the main engine only. Why is it so? And why is it at all used? We will have, we will have to first discuss about the function of this turbocharger and why it needs this auxiliary blower. Let's say this is the rough sketch of the turbocharger. This is the compressor here which compresses the atmospheric air and this is the turbine end which is receiving the exhaust gases of the main engine. Well, it is seen that the exhaust gases which are given to the turbine in the turbocharger, they are given in two different modes. One is before being given to the turbocharger, it is accumulated in a big cylindrical casing which is getting the excess gases from the main engine units. So this is the main engine and this is the accumulator so what happens here the exhaust gases are as they are going out from the main engine they are first entering into one accumulator a big accumulator cylindrical one and as it can be seen that the pressure in the accumulator goes on increasing gradually from the minimum to the maximum because the exhaust gases they find a very large area. Here it is going out from a narrow, narrow space and here it is entering into a very large area, large volume. This is called the exhaust gas trunk 
and why it is done like that because after the main engine after the main engine acquires the normal speed the pressure in this exhaust cut trunk it will be a constant pressure even if the engine rpm is even if the engine rpm is changing for a short while then also the pressure in this accumulator exhaust gas accumulator is constant that means the turbine will be driven at a constant speed irrespective of the fall of pressures that means the irrespective of the fall of the main engine rpm and thus the air will be compressed and it will also be accumulated in one more trunk that is called the scaven trunk this is the outlet here and this entering the scaven trunk this is the scaven trunk This is the exhaust gas accumulator. So here in this scaven trunk, a constant pressure will be existing because the turbocharger is being driven at constant speed. So this can be called as a constant pressure turbocharger because the pressure in the exhaust gas accumulator is constant and this scaven trunk is also at constant pressure so this is one form of driving the turbocharger here one thing is notable that when the engine is initially starting up then or when the engine is maneuvering then it will take a long time for this exhaust gas accumulator to have that large amount of exhaust gas to build up that pressure so at low rpms or even during the maneuvering the constant pressure cannot be achieved in this exhaust gas trunk so it will be unable to drive this turbocharger at this constant it will be unable to drive this turbocharger due to the less pressure here and does this cavity scaven air will not be available it will be very less so what is done is that one auxiliary blower one blower is used which gives one blower is used which gives the air to this scaven trunk at low rpms to cope up for the fall of pressure in the scaven trunk at the lower rpm 
because the engine is unable to exhaust gas from the engine is unable to drive the turbocharger it is unable to cope up with the scavenger demand so at the to meet the demand or to give the scavenger to the main engine at low rpms this auxiliary blower is helping to build up the pressure in this scavenging tank so this is the auxiliary blower this is the auxiliary blower so that is the reason that it needs that auxiliary blower it is used only in case of the constant pressure constant pressure type of scavenging gas gas side they directly go and hit the exhaust gas turbine and rotate it so at the even at the less rpm or when the main engine is maneuvering as the main engine gases are coming out it directly goes and hits the turbine and thus it is able to run the turbocharger even at the low rpm and so even at the low rpm this turbocharger is sufficiently developing this scavenge pressure because then this scavenge pressure will be developed with the sufficient of sufficient amount because then the individual drives are driving the turbocharger then so in that case even at even at the lower rpm the turbocharger is getting the constant pulse pulses from this exhaust gas individual units and thus this turbine is getting the constant pulse pulse of the drives of the exhaust gases and then it is driven with the constant pulse so this is called the constant pulse constant pulse type of scavenging so in that case the scavenging tank will also be having the very amount of very pressure and it can be seen that even at the lower rpm the turbo 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 charger is revolving at the higher speeds then that when it was in the constant pressure type so during that time this scavenging tank is full of pressure so that time the auxiliary blower is not needed that is the reason in the constant pulse type this auxiliary blower is not installed and that is also the reason that the generator it does not need this cost it it does not need the auxiliary blower generator never has a auxiliary blower because the individual exhaust gas outlets are given directly to the turbine which 
drive the turbo charger individually. That means that is also a constant pulse type of scavenging of driving the turbo charger. So then the scavenging trunk will be all the time getting this pulses of the scavenged air and the demand of the engine will be met accordingly. That is why the auxiliary blower is not installed in the generator. So that is the reason that the auxiliary blower is needed in a main engine. It is only needed in the constant pressure type, not in this which is the constant pulse type.